As you just saw, we will be talking about Viper today. So the Viper is a fast-paced job that fluidly shifts between dual-blade and double-bladed strikes in their various combos and abilities. It has a similar total number of actions as other jobs, but it is designed um, so that fewer actions are needed to be set on the hotbar. This video is based on official sources that are the public library 81 as well as a job action trailer. So without further delay, let's move on to the gameplay itself with Yoshipi playing the job for us. I wasn't sure how to talk about Viper and make this video actually, but I have to do it. So firstly, I will focus on the odd bar to present it, to present how Yoshipi uh, set it up. After that, as he plays, um, I will show you the rotation he is doing and try to explain as I explain uh, how Viper works. And after all that, after seeing all re rotations and stuff, um, explanations, I will give you my thoughts about it um, before obviously recording this video. I already watched um, what you are watching with me right now so that I can know uh, what I'm talking about. So for the odd bar first, this is how Yoshipis have set up his own um, odd bar. It may differ to what you will do, but um, you will see that it's a very smart way to do. So on the left, you have the six first square on the row one and row two that are for solo skills. On the right part of these bars with control keys, you have the AOE attacks. In the middle bar, to separate each side, are annex um, skills, I guess. On the top row are special abilities you will activate during your rotation. There are more buttons and more action, obviously, but you can reduce it to this much, and so it doesn't overwhelm you, as well as um, let you add the talents, unless they are removed, but yeah, that's really good. And yet you will see that Viper is not that easy. So during this first part of the showcase, you should be able to focus on the dual blade to show you what the skills does for dual blade. So you will focus on the skill 4 and the skill 5. And he's showcasing a bit. So each time he press 4 or 5 skill, the skill change because uh, it replaces with the next skill to be used. And so in this segment, UCP showcases the dual blade um, skills, um, only dual blade skill. As you can see on the bottom of the hot bar with a skill action, one, two, and three. Before talking about any kind of rotation now, we have to talk about the gauge. So on the HUD for the Viper, you have two different elements. The first element is some kind of potions with five little circles. And the second element is the, du um, the dual blade or double blade um, and three little gems below it. For the first part, so the potion with the five circles, it will fill up with your main abilities and skills from your rotation. And when you reach the 50, point of your gauge, you will be able to use re reawakened skill. This is a bit similar to the Ange route from Reaper, and after use this um, cost of 50 gauge, you will have different abilities um, changing to a new category just like Reaper, and you will be able to use five of them, that's why there are five circles below the potion. As for the double-bladed um, element, it is used um, to show you um, which skills you can activate. And you will see uh, through the gameplay that when you use some skills, some part of the blades will glow up. That's just visual element, I believe. But for the three little gems, it is for you to use for the AoE's attack. So you can charge up to 3 AOE and some rotation will include these AOEs. So that's very interesting to take that into consideration. And so that's all we get this next sequence where Yoshipid is doing a 
full burst. You can see it without much editing from me. So you will see the five circle pop and then be used. Um, he's also explaining meanwhile that it is quite easy to play, not like it's easy to play and how to master. And when you begin with Viper, you can just click or press the buttons of everything glowing up. They also explained to us that uh, Viper is very versatile and so that the, the, the main combos, rotation and stuff is made so that you can switch between single target and multi uh, like AOE um, very easily and include it into your rotation. You can switch between both of them quite easily and it's made for that, like you have two weapons and so you can do single and AOE easily. And so there is also the red diamond I talked about earlier. I think I made a little mistake saying, uh, talking about it, but basically the red diamond below the dual sword of the HUD is about starting um, distant AOE attack combo. So the last main thing to talk about, um, so the last main thing to talk about for Viper is is rotation or possible rotation, and basically the workaround and how to play it. So there is one thing I didn't talk much about is a buff. As you see on the bottom right of the screen, I zoomed on the buffs um, Viper gets through the skills. There are three main buffs you can get through the rotation, the, the haste on yourself, meaning you can speed up your attack a bit like a ninja, a damage up on yourself, meaning you can make more damage or deal more damage, and damage down on enemies, meaning the enemies will deal less uh, damage on yourself. Um, Viper seems to be quite uh, uh, solo melee DPS, like very selfish. So the buffs are all about yourself and not your um, teammate. That doesn't mean you can't help your teammate, but of course, this is the main idea. So as you can see on the sequence now, Yoshi P will use his first skill with the one and will choose a path. This path will lead him to some buff. Um, it is not... Um, uh, uh, a part of the yellow buff, I mean, which is possibly the haste. I'm not sure which one is damage up and damage down. Um, I believe there is one um, with the dual sword, as you can see now, that is about damage up. And the third one that we will see maybe soon is about um, damage down on enemies. And so enemies more like deals less uh, damage on yourself. And so the rotation will be about pressing your keys and extra keys um, to get through your buff, reactivate your buff and speed up your gauge and use your gauge for the reawakening skill. And do that again and again and again. And you kill the boss and you kill the enemies. And that's pretty easy, to be honest. I can't go in depth just now with the rotation. I could show you what skills your ship be used, but we don't have the um, job between our hands. But as soon as we can, you can be sure I will give you a full rotation and or so something. That's pretty much wrap it up for this um, Viper job. I'm really excited about it. I wasn't sure I would be excited by it any of the two jobs actually, but I kind of said that for Shadowbringer back then because I wasn't sure, but I actually picked up on Dancer uh, when it came up, uh, came out, sorry, and for Reaper as well, I actually liked playing Reaper during Emma Walker, so I think I will enjoy Viper. 
I didn't look into Big Dumb Monster just yet, but that will be the next video after this one. So please subscribe for more videos like it if you did like it. Put a, a like if you did, actually. Uh, dislike if you didn't. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.